This is on day 84. This is nice to look at. I think it works. Not too so bad, my friend. Me. PewDiePie. I'm sure you're all very familiar with who that is. If you know who I am, but don't know who PewDiePie is, congratulations, you're probably one of my parents. But it seems as though he has been taking it upon himself to improve on his drawing ability. And he put out two videos recently, one about being, you know, 30 days straight of drawing and one of 100 days in a row. He just kept going. And the whole art community seems to be quite impressed with the amount of progress that he made. He went from stuff like this to stuff like this. And he really improved. He did very well. But I wanted to make this video as a little I told you so or a proof of concept of some words that I put out a little while ago in a video I called six tips to improve your drawing. And I thought this could be a good case study of those tips. So let's go through it. How do we get better at drawing? I have six suggestions for you. So what was my first tip? Keep a sketchbook. Keep a sketchbook. Simple. And Felix did that very much so because all these things that we're going to see are in his sketchbook. You could see him flipping through it. He's going at it pretty regularly, daily, in fact. And a physical, you know, tactile sketchbook, pencil, paper. There's nothing like it. Simple, easy. He's doing it. What was the next tip? Number two, set some goals for yourself. Yes, setting goals is important. And not only just long-term goals. I want to be a master artist. It doesn't have to be that lofty and way in the future, but just a small thing. I want to get better at drawing a face at a three quarter angle, or I want to improve on the anatomy of the arm, something small goals, medium goals, big goals, let them all combine into a nice fusion of progress that you can see yourself working toward. And PewDiePie did that even the goal of just drawing every day for that duration of time that was a goal that he set out and accomplished i drew every day for a hundred days and he's still setting more goals for himself i hope in a year i can develop my own style more uh but we'll see you guys then another point using references 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 are king and that's what everyone told me as well the best way to improve is draw from reference so how are you going to know how to draw something if you don't know what it looks like so you got to look at it and then try to draw it the more you do that, the less you'll have to rely on the reference because it'll kind of be in your brain now. And then you could move on to the next thing or, you know, whatever. If you want to learn how to draw a giraffe, you look at a giraffe from every angle and then you draw it. And then maybe one day you won't need to look at a giraffe picture anymore. You'll just be like, oh, I know it's weird little horn things and its ears go like this and substitute that for anything and boom now you can draw everyone who think you're doing something amazing but all you did was just look at a giraffe picture and copied it i think i used myself as reference for some of these i know that's kind of weird i just needed the pose that i wanted to draw yeah and that one too <laughs> anytime the head is shaped differently it's like a whole different ball game if you're that's great what he did is he used himself as a reference at times and those around him and that's amazing. He obviously is not an anime girl, but I mean, anime girls have hands and he has hands. So if he wants them doing, you know, this or whatever, just take a picture of himself doing that. And then you get into the mode of combining the reference with your imagination. And that's where that's where all the juicy good stuff happens. That's great. Yeah, this one in the middle is Marzia. I drew it super quick. I asked her to post for me. <laughs> I would say also copy other artists. Copying other artists is great as well because references are good for, you know, what is the realistic thing that we're trying to stylize or replicate. But other artists have already stylized it in their own way. So it might be good to see how. Like anime, for example, is already a form of stylization that we're all pretty familiar with. So looking at how a human eye has been formed into a anime eye and why and how that works, that's a great thing to study and then figure out how 
you can implement that in your own style at a certain point. It's fun to try out different styles. I have not developed my own and I'm just trying to draw different things that I see and like as much as possible. Just do it and you will improve dramatically and quickly. Wisdom. Number four, keep it fun. And I realized this is amazing. I'm having so much fun. Yeah, I love drawing these. These are very anime drawings. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's fun to see it in front of you. I love this character so much. Drawing is fun. It's supposed to be fun. That's why a lot of us want to do it and get into it. And then once we're into it, we want to improve. So then we might have the tendency to, you know, want to study anatomy and perspective and color theory, which is all very important and helpful. But don't get too focused on that only. Don't forget to keep things fun and try to bring in those fundamentals into the fun things that you already like to draw, which Felix is doing with his anime faces. And you could tell he's having lots of fun doing it, which is why he is continuing. And the fact that he's continuing is making him better and better. See how it works. And my next tip was to iterate. Yes, iterate. And you could see that PewDiePie is really doing that. He's been drawing kind of a very similar type of thing a lot, which is why he's improving so much because in his case, it's not like he's drawing a face then a tree then a dog then a building and a car. He's just staying focused. He knows what he wants to accomplish. So he's doing faces, anime, girl, face. So, so it's pretty clear that when you keep doing the same thing, you're going to improve on that. You're going to understand how it works and his quantity of putting them out daily, multiple times a day even. You could see why that's leading to such progress, such quick progress. I felt like I need, just needed more practice with different angle of the head. So I try to do as much as possible. What's my next tip? Do your best not to compare yourself to other people. This is a classic, not comparing ourselves to all the incredible artists we see all around us. But I should make a slight amendment to this because I also said, if you're going to compare to anyone, compare to yourself from the past. Which is true, but make sure that past self you're comparing to is there's a little bit of time, like a little distance, maybe not like a week ago or even a month ago, because your, your progress doesn't go, you know, in a straight line. Sometimes it's kind of like wavy. So you don't want to compare something you drew on this day and then you end up going down and then it's like, oh no, I'm getting worse. I did it. I drew something I liked. Finally. It was also kind of a blessing and a curse because I would always compare whatever I drew to the best thing I felt like I drew. And it made me really hate a lot of stuff that I drew that I don't think was that bad. I don't know. Whoops, I gotta move locations. Hang on one second. But yeah, give it some time. Maybe not like a week ago, but maybe a few months ago or a year ago or when you were much younger. And that's always encouraging to see how far you've come, which our boy does here in these videos also. So this is where I was at 30 days and this is where we're at now. Maybe you can't tell a massive difference, but I, I, I can tell a massive difference. I feel so much more confident drawing now and I can draw quicker, less attempts. And those are the six tips that I had. And as you can see, they work, they work really well. Now, if I were to have specific tips for PewDiePie himself, Felix, if you're watching this, I doubt it, but it's possible. Let me suggest and encourage you to not scratch out the work that you don't like. I know a lot of the time we put our best effort forth and we hate the result. So the natural inclination might be, you know, delete, scratch out. But just like we were just saying about comparing yourself to years ago. It's great. I love going back and seeing old drawings that I used to really hate and seeing that progression. The worse it is, it's actually better for me in the in the now because I'm like, oh, now I see what I could have done to fix this. And then I love personally going back and just like, okay, I can do this now. I've leveled up. So don't scratch them out. Keep them. Those are great relics of your artistic journey. And there was one other part where he was drawing 
a face um, showing his process kind of on camera. And he mentioned that it was kind of tricky to find the chin. Uh, this is how I do it. I bet it's wrong. <laughs> Clearly. because <laughs> I like to do the eyes first just because they're the most important. And at least, at least the placement of them. Then I sort of try and figure out where the chin is going to end up in relation to everything else. And that does not look right. For me as a beginner, this process takes me the most time, but I also think it's the most important. The chin is so difficult. It all has to work. So here's my suggestion. I see that you've drawn that kind of construction line circle to kind of indicate the, the cranium. But what is very helpful that you usually see in all these kind of drawing methods is the, the eye line and the center line of the face. You don't have to do all the crazy, you know, Loomis method, super detailed. You don't have to worry about all that. But even with anime, very helpful to just have that cranium like you did. And then just a, a midpoint line, depending on where the, the head is facing and the eye line. Then that just gives you a quick reference as to where everything is placed. The nose, mouth, ears, all that stuff. So... Keep up the great work, Felix, and all you other artists out there who are trying to improve. I know we're all always trying to get better, and it's great to see people putting these things into practice, enjoying themselves, improving. I hope you stick around for more artsy stuff. This channel's about, you know, my own art projects, my art tips, and little DIY things. I'd love it if you stuck around and subscribed. So that's it for me. I'll leave you with these words of wisdom from a wise man. After I had done it, I was like, well, I've done it once. Now I just got to keep going. And then eventually I'll hit my goal. And I'm kind of keeping the same mentality with drawing. You know, I don't know what my goal is, but all you got to do is keep practicing. That's all it takes. You know, you don't get better unless you actually put in the work, right?